Okay, so we're joined by the boss again, Kev McGreskin. Kev, how are we this morning? Uh, Chamber going well for you this week? Hi, hi. Uh, we've had a great week. Um, so, yeah, we're um, looking forward to Sunday. So, can we wait? Yeah. I'm just going to pinpoint you by starting towards last Sunday, a, a terrific 3 2 win. And I was speaking to Lisa Ryan about this, and we didn't play particularly well, but we still came out with the three points, which shows a lot about the character within the team. Aye, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the condition, it was windy, um, you know, Motherwell played played well, you know, uh, against this, um, and we managed to come out on top, so so that's always good, you know, you, you don't play at your, your, your top form, but you managed to grind at a result, um, we got the breaks when we needed them, and, uh, you know, and, and AB, I think, scored a great goal uh, to put us 3-1 up, and that proved to be the decisive goal, so, yeah, overall, Delighted with the three points. A host of accomplishments uh, last week. Lisa Ryan's first goal for Fofa. Mm. Classic Cowper's first goal and she told me three years. Mm. And Alana Bruce's first goal and she told me two years. Aye. Aye. Um, so it was good, you know, I mean, we've uh, largely relied on the goals for Donna and London's chipped in with, with a few as well. But they've been our only goal scorers this season, so it was good to see three fresh names on the board. Um, Lisa's taken hers well. Um, Cassie's delivered a good ball in, and you know the wins just made it difficult for their goalkeeper. Um, and then the last goal, you know, um, Lawn's seen the opportunity to put the ball up long, and AB's got on her bike, chased it down, got the nod ahead of the defender, and slid it under the goalkeeper for a great wee finish. So it was, it was, um, I it was good to, good to see those new names on the on the scoreboard. And you were you were speaking to me off air last, last Sunday night to, via text message or WhatsApp, and you were telling me you thought Warren was man of the match and uh, justified based on her saves she made and also that assist as you, you alluded to there. Aye, um, for, for me, you know, she made some vital saves at, at crucial times for us and, and kept us in the game, you know, and and another day. You know, maybe Motherwell finish them a bit better and, and take take their chances. But Long's made it difficult for the players. Uh, for them, she's she's made good saves and uh, kept us in the game. And uh, you know, she really played a part. You know, th- there were some really good performances throughout the team. But for me, the goalkeeper being on on form like that and making crucial saves was you know really really important to us. And. We're quite big at Fofa Farmington in terms of the youth policy, great youth academy at this club. And this was shown on Sunday with, with yourself bringing on Shout Taylor for Shout Gammy. Before I, before I go on to the question, Shout Gammy did tremendously well as well because she picked up a nasty looking, uh, she was on the receiving end, sorry, of a nasty looking challenge in the first half. And um, any, anybody could have particularly went off after that incident, but fair play to Shout, she continued in the park until the 88th Hi. minute. Ah, you know, she, uh, Gammy's worked hard. She's, uh, you know, done great work. She's done done a lot of chasing. It can be a thankless task sometimes up there when you, when you're asked to do that job. Um, yeah, you know, I think we probably should have got a penalty. Um, they get a free kick for a very similar challenge on one of their players. We don't get a penalty because it's in the box, and you know that's the way football goes sometimes. But Gammy shrugged it off and and carried on while chasing and harrying that she does and and trying to do what she can with the ball and link up with people. So, yeah, she did really well before. Um, obviously, we, we we brought on a pair of fresh legs just to to chase the ball down in the closing stages of the game. And shout out to her coming on. She's been a huge positive um, in terms of the youth development program that we have here at Farmington. Hi, um, you know, she's done really well. She started uh, both pre-season games against Rangers and Celtic and acquitted herself really well against, you know, top-class opposition. Um, you look at who she was up against uh, against Rangers and in her first game and she wasn't a daunted at all. She rose to the challenge and did everything she could in the game. Um, so it was it was fabulous to give her opportunity to, to get on the field in a league match and uh, hopefully hopefully she enjoyed it and uh, you know and and she she's one that oh hopefully be at the club for a long time to come. In terms of we we are speaking about a Glasgow City preview here, but before we do, we've got to get your reaction to the use of our you main sponsor, uh, Direct Soccer. Aye, well it's, it's good you know I mean it's it's great that we can get somebody to. 
to be interested in and willing to contribute to the women's game. Uh, you know, we're, I'm sure we're not alone. Every club's always looking for sponsors to, to try and increase our revenue streams and try and support what the club does. And uh, it's always a challenge in the women's game. So it's good to see somebody that's, that's willing to, to get involved and put their name to it and, and help support the club. So that's fantastic. Glasgow City on Sunday now, live on t- television or BBC Sport Online, as we normally discuss. Um, Glasgow City, a team full of quality, full of experience, full of a, a title winning mentality. So it's going to be a tough game for us. Oh, without a doubt. Um, you know, uh, Glasgow City have been the standard bearers in Scottish football for the past 14 years or so. And I think, you know, when uh, everybody's seen what Rangers and Celtic were doing, the, you know, the wonder brother Glasgow City would be able to rise to that challenge. And, and you know, they've, they've proven themselves. Uh, they went out last week and had a, you know, comprehensive win against a very good Celtic side. Um, so they're right up there at the top of the table. You're going to, going to be chasing for the title in the Champions League places. Um, Bowie's done a great job in adding to the squad. You know, other squads would... Uh, you know, struggled losing the quality that they did, particularly to one of your main rivals. But they've recruited really well, and they showed that last week how how strong they are going to be for the rest of the season. Um, so it's be it's going to be great to go up and, and challenge yourselves against that quality of opposition. And these are the games that you look forward to, and you hope that when you go out, you acquit yourself well, um, you rise to the challenge, and and you give your very best performance. So. So we're looking forward to it. And the fact that it's on BBC Sport Scotland, um, you know, gives it that extra specialness to the occasion. So we'll really look forward to that as well. Is Sunday about giving a good account of ourselves? Aye. I mean, it's important that basically, you know, the players do their jobs, you know, and and we're prepared well this week. Um, They know what we're going to be trying to do. They know how we're going to try and set up against City and, and how we're going to try and take the game to them. So if if they can go out and, and be disciplined and stay focused and keep their concentration and do their job for, for the 90 minutes, you know, they, they give themselves every chance. And uh, and then you see you see what you come up with at the other end. So hopefully, you know, it'd be wonderful to have a positive result of some sort, you know, and uh, you know, um, but as long as we give a good account of ourselves and and show that we're you know, we're not just there to make up the numbers, but we're there to, you know, challenge the, the opposition on the football field. Are you pleased with the positivity in the park at, uh, both on and off the park at this minute in time? Because I'm speaking to players and they're telling me how, how they're, they're, they're happy that it's so positive within the club at the minute. Aye, we, we do seem to have a, a pretty, you know, positive vibe around the club. You know, it is football clubs go, you know, and uh, it's... Um, and that's important. You, you want people to be happy to come into training and enjoy coming into training, looking forward to coming up, coming to the games. Um, so if we've got that, you know, that plays a big part in, in whether you can actually go out and, and do well in a match on a Sunday. So, yeah, that, that's important to have. You know, we've got some some good characters around the club, you know, that, that bring a little bit of a different, a different flavour for, for each other. But... Um, they complement each other well and and hopefully we'll continue that for the rest of the season. Yeah. And Glasgow City on, on Sunday, is it going to define our season? But is Sunday more of a case to see where you're at or is it more just to just to, just to just to try out one or two things? What what's your overall view going into Sunday? Well, you go into any game hoping that you that you can do something. You know, I mean if we're, if we're only going into this game hoping that we could nick something or, or cause an upset, then we, we may as well not turn up. You, you, you go into football games because you're hoping if you get things right, something might just happen and, and you'll you'll nick a point or can you can you create a huge upset and nick a win. But you're realistic as well, the quality of opposition that you're coming up against. We know this is going to be a really hard game. You know, the players are going to need to do a lot of work, a lot of running. And then when they've got the ball, they're going to need to try and be smart with it and try and retain possession when we can, see if we can, can take the game to Glasgow City on the occasions that, that we do have the opportunities to do so. So we're only, we're only fools to think that, you know, we're at the necessarily the same level as Glasgow City. They are they are up there at the top of the tree in, in Scottish football, and so we're just trying to hoping that we can go out and compete. 
But like I say, if you get everything right and you do your jobs right and you get that bit of luck that, that you need, because <laughs> you need luck as well, uh, you never know what could happen. So we, we go in, we're aspirational, hoping that we can try and get something. Um, but we're also realistic about, you know, what we're up against as well and the quality uh, that, that Glasgow City have. I like we got a, a wee update on Leon Jim and Vanek, please, because it's been well documented and uh, obviously you've got the appropriate opinion that you would to share to the family and fans. Aye, well, you know, it's 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 disappointing that we you know, it looks like another game will come and go that we we don't have Leon Shaw available for selection. Um the good news is that, you know, uh, from, from what I've heard, you know, the applications away to FIFA, you know, we've got the support of the, the other clubs in the league as well um, who who understand the situation. So so that's great. So a big thanks to them and acknowledgement to them. And we just hope that we get an answer back as soon as possible. It's just, it's just frustrating how long this seems to have dragged on and taken to get to this stage. Uh, like I say, we're, we're now going to probably have the second game back and, and still no have it available. And, you know, for a squad our size and, and for what we have at our disposal, we, we need every player available. And to, let's say, to go into another game and, and no have somebody available in, in your squad that, that's there training every week, that's get, that one of those that's getting tested in, your, in our 20 allocated players, it's, it's, it's frustrating. Um, you know, disappointing that, that it's still going on, but hopefully it'll get resolved sooner rather than later. Perfect. Thank you very much, Kevin. Here's hoping for a positive result on Sunday. Aye, aye. Fingers crossed.